What's up guys, my name is Tom, welcome back to another video and today back for another episode of my F1 2020 My Team Career Mode episode 36 round 14 in season 2. If you haven't watched the previous episode, it was last week, I recommend to go check it out. It's been a while since the last My Team Career Mode video, um, I want to apologize, it's been a very crazy week since these last few times. Um, so I hope you guys understand that, but I'm really excited to bring you season 3 is almost ready I'm making sure that everything is set to be ready But anyway, we're going to focus in the last three races of the season and we're going to have a major upgrade that should be ready If I'm not wrong for the next episode the Brazilian Grand Prix and uh, That is going to be our last upgrade because now I'm thinking in saving money and resource points already thinking ahead in season 3 Because it's mo most likely to um, fire Lando and hire a better driver because Lando so far this season and hasn't scored a single point. It's just been me carrying the team um, and it's starting to pissing me off a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, um, because uh, we have a lot of potential to finish third in the constructor, but it's going to be really hard because it's just me carrying the flag. But anyway, Mexican Grand Prix, no rain is going to be scheduled for the entire weekend with the exception of practice one. But anyway, the performance chart, you can see that we are moving forward and now we are ahead of Afatari and we are getting closer and closer to the lights of the Aston Martins, the Ferraris and the Red Bulls. Mercedes in the League of Zone, they brought a, mi a minor upgrade, so we are getting to the stage of this season where the teams are also um, starting to save some resource points for season 3. You can see Williams uh, took a big leap, but you can see on practice, I was uh, doing the qualifying, um, not the qualifying sim program, uh, apologies, the track acclimatization program. At, it was starting to rain, but thankfully I did enough score on the first two laps to get a purple result. But you can see that I decided to, st to stay on the last lap just for fun, to see how I would do in a wet track dry tires challenge. And you can see through the final corner there's no grip whatsoever. And we spin and lose a bit of our front wing, but you can see purple result is what matters. We actually we were creating a train formed by one of the Ferraris and the McLarens. They actually they were pulling into the pits. You can see the Ferrari on the background, but you can see that was a very nice spin. Unfortunately, we lost a bit of our front wing, but no big deal. And uh, we uh, skip for onto practice too. Pace has been really good. I really like Mexico. is a very good track for me, and he always provides um, good racing. I really like. Uh, racing at the Autodrome with Hermanos Rodriguez, especially when you go through the stadium session, which unfortunately maybe DC is going to be empty if F1 races at Mexico. So enjoy the game, enjoy the crowd that we have in the virtual world. And for the final goal, we're doing the qualifying sim program. Pace has been super, super good. Um, I think this is a very good track for our car across the line. And you can see that we went fastest overall in practice too. And we skip forward to the end of the session. And there he is, one tenth faster than Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas, which can be world champion today um, because he has a very good gap. He needs to uh, have a 52 gap um, to the seven time world champion um, if he wants to be, uh, if he wants to get his first ever championship after being destroyed by Hamilton by all these years. Bottas can redeem this year and it seems most likely to be but anyway we're going to skip forward auto qualifying we gain a bunch of, a good bunch of resource points um, during this practice session we have uh, um, 2.8k but uh, um, I'm not going to spend him for the rest of the season like I said in the previous episode but here we are in qualifying I have very good expectations I think Q1 is going to be just a formality as we are through the stadium session a little bit of understeer through the first happen and now we just have a, uh, the long uh, light under of the final corner put the throttle as early as you can across the line and it's going to be a 113.7 and we are fastest so far ahead of Max Verstappen so that is pretty impressive to see and we skip forward to the end of the session and we are fifth fastest and Lando Norris in P12 so it seems that he has decent pace but we are by far uh, faster than our teammate uh, one Mercedes one two in the league of their own and we go through into K2 so I think we have a very good chance to get into the top 10 shootout I was thinking maybe fitting the mediums and try to get in um, because uh, the one-stop strategy can be very powerful around here but I think it's the same the two-stop strategy is also very powerful so I decided to go to the softs and just be safe as we go through the S session actually during practice I extended a little bit to track limits there but then um, I decided to calm down a little bit and being a little bit more lenient with the track limits Lance Stroll goes faster so far with a 114.1 I think we can beat that through the final corner and there is going to be a 113 flat and that is enough to put us so far um, the fastest car on track but we skip forward and we are down in P7 and Lando Norris down in P9 so he has a very good chance to get into the top 10 shootout but he's really on the cusp and I decided to do another lap just to be safe but you can see that is not going to be enough to improve through the, through the final corner it's going to be just marginal the non-improvement I can say and uh, we remain in 8th place but uh, Norris is catching us so I decided to give him give him a little bit of a slipstream but you can see that uh, um, the gap wasn't that perfect so the slipstream is not going to be that big but hopefully 
um, it should be um, enough and maybe it can be the difference in getting into the top 10 to top but you can see that unfortunately um, it's not enough and Lando is going to start in P13 but we just only just made it through to the top 10 shootout not, um, but separate by less than a tenth of a second over Daniel Kvyat so it's crunch time it is time for K3 um, I, I think it's been a while since we went um, to a top 10 shootout Valtteri Bottas sets provisional pole time with a 112.999 and what is going to be about us across the line and it is a 113.7 so far in second place but some guys um, still have to do their laps at the moment we are ahead of Leclerc Alban and Pierre Gasly but that was a time with a whole set of soft tires so we have a lot of time to find and I think we can get into the second row of the of the grid so just see how good our pace has been and it seems that this car really likes um, this track so you're going to join me for the entire lap the last lap of uh, key 3 and it's going to be my best one hopefully as we're getting two tenths of a second through the first turns open the DRS and then now in this turn make sure to hit the brakes as early uh, as late as you can um, because uh, um, it's a hard braking zone and make sure to have a ni very nice slingshot through this turn to, in order to get uh, that uh, extra speed through this double right hand and make sure to hit the two apex there's no point in doing that slingshot that I was talking about as we are three tenths up so it's looking good to get a very good starting position for this Mexican Grand Prix as we go through the S session I'm carrying a low down for setup so it's been kind of a struggle but this time we respect the track limits open the DRS and now we're going to the strongest part as we have a DRS failure but thankfully and we don't have any more DRS to, do, to e DRS yes to open um, on this lap as we go through the staging session the the improvement is not being that big on the last second because it was really good actually on an old set of soft tires through the final corner it's going to be a three almost three tenth improvement across the line and what this is going to mean for the start of the Mexican Grand Prix is going to be second place our first front row start for Tom Motorsport what a lap that was maybe some mistakes here or there but it wouldn't uh, uh, matter because um, it wouldn't be Paul because Bottas crushed it four tenths ahead of his teammate he really wants to get uh, his first championship at the end of this race but what a qualifying it's been for Tom Motorsport second place our first front row start I'm smelling a podium at the end of this race are we going to get it is what we're going to find out in this race so without further ado let's go to Sunday for the Mexican Grand Prix here we go then, it's time to race in Mexico City, a place which gave Honda their first ever victory back in 1965. American Richie Ginther won from third on the grid. And what are the Honda powered cars this year? Well, Red Bull have been going strong here in recent seasons, so can they keep that record going today? We're a long way above sea level here in Mexico today, which could pose some cooling issues for the cars as they make their way around this 2.6 mile lap. 17 corners with top speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour and watch out for potential overtaking into turns one and four. And I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. Let's talk about Thomas. What do you make of their performance so far this season? It's been a really solid year so far. There have been some incredible standout performances, but what's really impressed me has been the consistency. With this kind of form, I'm expecting another great race today. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position and Thomas completes the front row. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel and Albon, Gasly, Ricardo, Sainz and Daniel Kvyat, Perez, Norris, Lance Stroll and Russell, Latifi, Leclerc, Antonio Giovinazzi and Kimi Raikkonen, De Vries, Magnussen, Ocon, they've taken a grid penalty, and Nobuharu Matsushita. And now it's time to head down to the track. And here we are on the track, guys, ready to start off the Mexico Grand Prix. First front row start for Tom Motorsport. Strategy wise, is going to be an easy to stop. He's, um, he's inevitable when you start on the softest compound of tire. The guys that are going to start outside of the top 10 are going to start on the mediums and they're going to try to carry the hearts. But for us, it can be a very good day. I don't say that we can win this Grand Prix because it's going to be really hard because uh, Mercedes is Mercedes. But uh, a podium, I think, is a very good possibility as we're getting ready to the start of the Mexico Grand Prix. 36 laps ahead of us. 
and it slides out and away we go. Let's see if we can get a good start. We're already in the lead of this race. We overtook Valtteri Bottas uh, on the start and it was a, an excellent start from us. And we find ourselves in the lead of this Grand Prix for the first time legitimately. And Bottas is getting a really good stream and Hamilton might dive down the inside. As we go into turn one, there is Bottas diving down the inside. So Hamilton, I think, backed out of, of it and Bottas retakes the lead of the Mexican Grand Prix as we go into turn two. And we lost a little bit of back end. We lost a bit of our front wing. We hit the side bottom, Lewis Hamilton, uh, because we lost the back end and we received the warning. But uh, most importantly, we have damage and our front wing in damage. And our chances to get a podium seems to be really short at the moment because we have uh, it's not lime green damage, it is uh, orange damage. So I think we're going to be forced to stop on this lap. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to change my front wing and we're going to find ourselves at the end of this lap in the last place on the Mexican Grand Prix. It's disaster, but we're not going to give up because there's a lot of racing to do. Maybe a safety car can save us, but this is definitely not a start that I would want if I want to get the podium. And it is a Mercedes one to bought us, followed by Hamilton, then myself, Gasly and Vettel. Gasly already smelling my gearbox, and I need to really limping this car and try to not lose time with these guys because we're going to lose already a lot by changing our front wing and the set of tires. Strategy wise, is, uh, is going to be um, still the two stop, but we'll no longer fit the soft tires for the rest of this race and um, because there's no way because we're going to do already a lot of laps on the medium compound half tire and there is Bottas leads the way and we're going to change to the medium compound half tire so absolute disaster uh, but it was completely my fault I was too greedy on the throttle and uh, I was too ambitious on the throttle and that caused the spin and that is very very unfortunate for us but like I said it is a very long race and we have a long ladder cool climb we find ourselves in last place and the guys that are ahead of us are the lights of the Williams and the Hasses so I have the feeling that uh, we can catch still these guys with the uh, um, you know um, with their stops to do with their first stops to do um, because we are in clear air and the soft tires sooner rather than later are going to start to fade away and you can see that we are already 11 seconds um, off uh, Nick the Free so just see how fast we are against this Williams so points are going to be almost sure because I think we have the pace for that but anyway we're across the line we're setting personal best no surprise and um, with the exception of this lap but we have some team radio De Vries ahead. Our gap to the car in front is 9.1 seconds. They're on old softs. Their tires are four laps old. We think they've got two stops remaining. The time last lap was a 1.18.7. You're gaining by 1.6 seconds a lap. So I was just getting some information about the free, so just see how fast we're catching and we skip full on to lap 8 and we are less than the two seconds behind the Williams. So that is kind of, um, you know, uh, surprising to see and kind of shocking to see because uh, one episode ago we were battling with the lights of the Williams, Alfa Romeos and the Hasses. Um, today in season 2 is quite a contrary and we are really close to his gearbox as we're going to the season section. Still in the same lap and uh, I'm smelling an overtake already so starting to make moves and he still has to make his first stop. So just see the pace difference, better tyres, better car, better everything. Open the DRS, overtake mode, bridge picks, ERS has not been a problem in this Grand Prix because we are already in Season 2 and this is not a really a track that deploys that much ERS and it was a pretty easy overtake on the Williams and now ahead of us is the Haas of Kevin Magnus and then Charles Leclerc way down the order because he had a grid penalty we're getting to the stage of the season where everyone is getting grid penalties we're not going to have those uh, for the rest of this season because we have enough components um, to um, get to Abu Dhabi in one piece but anyway um, Leclerc, uh, Vettel is pitting and we overtook him pretty easily he's on the medium cup out of tires and we're getting the nice stream of Kevin Magnus so also um, almost I should say um, stepping the wheel on the grass but at the end of the day we made the overtake pretty easily but you can see that Leclerc is struggling a lot um, to make the moves on these guys so it's been a very hard afternoon for Leclerc that seems that uh, he's struggling a lot to make the moves and uh, their, their chances to get some points are really starting to get to slimmer and slimmer you could see that it is a huge strain formed by one of the McLarens I think one of the Williams I should say and Leclerc breaks really early and I was forced to go off to the track that was really close and now Vettel might take the chance and I was trying maybe to make a late dive bomb on the clay but it was really close to lose once again our front wing but thankfully we are still in one piece in this Grand Prix and Leclerc pulls into the pits um, in this lap but once again that was super super close to lose a bit of our front wing and you can see that guys that sat on the soft lights me are starting to make their first of the two stops of this afternoon as we're getting a very nice upstream of the other has this time of George Russell run yet side we go through turn one and you can see Max Verstappen already made the stop and it seems that he's stuck behind the Williams car of Nicholas Latifi and he's already making the move so just to see um, how fast that Red Bull is 
and uh, um, we're going to try to not lose that much time with these guys because uh, we are in a different league and we need to uh, move these places. What do we really, um, Kahneman and Andy now, um, would be a safety car after um, all these guys on the softs make their uh, stops as uh, Latifi is really slow and that is going to allow us maybe to get a chance around the outside. We had so, uh, look at the traction that we have and we shoot up the inside at the beginning of the S session and that's us up into P14. But, but once everyone that is on the mediums makes their mandatory stops, they're only a one stop of the afternoon I think we find ourselves on the points, but remember that we need to make another stop as well because there's no way that we're going to carry these mediums um, till the end of the race. And you can see how fast I'm catching Verstappen because um, it seems that Ocon seems to be really slow, and this might give us a chance um, to make a move on the Dutch um, through the start finish straight. So we'll see what we can do as we have DRS available, he's going to have that. So uh, thanks to Ocon, so let's see what we can do. Getting a very nice slipstream, but I'm going to switch to the right hand side of the track because Kvyat is leaving the pits, and this might be a free wide moment with Kvyat in the middle and now we're going to shoot up the inside no I'm going to think better of that because these guys have better tires and Verstappen and Kvyat find themselves going at it side by side and I'm going to try to get, uh, get a very nice slingshot but I had a little bit of oversteer and that is going to stop my momentum and they're still going at it but at the end of the day it seems that Verstappen is going to win this battle Kvyat tried to hold a run inside and he does that so now he's going to send on the inside brilliant battle between the team from the Red Bull family and Vettel who seems to be under pressure from Vettel because he sent one down inside so I have I was supposed to leave a little bit of room and that kind of stopped to make a little bit of a or kind of a switchback move but at the end of the day Verstappen makes the move and uh, that's us up now for the time being up into seventh place but you can see that the head of Verstappen and Kvyat we have a teammate Lando Norris and I can tell you already that he started on the top 10 and he's on the two stop side it is very unfortunate for Lando and we skip forward onto lap 15 and Lando is pulling into the pit so that is uh, not a very smart choice for him I'm not gonna lie it's going to be really hard for him to score some points and uh, because he's going to um, going with the two stop and if I was him I would stick with the one stop but anyway we're going to press on and uh, we're skipping all the way forward I'm saying a, a lot of times skipping the way forward to a certain lap because uh, we've been doing a lot of battling but once we are ahead we are in clear air I managed I always managed to uh, man the ga manage to gap uh, you know um, the gap of the guys behind us but on lap 21 I'm going to pick a look at the tire where 67 percent on the left rear so just see how hard I was pushing and I was struggling a lot um, in these last three to two laps and I was trying to extend this set um, as uh, um, as far as I could but uh, there were, um, I got to the point on lap 22 that I couldn't take anymore I was starting to lose time anyway to these guys so we're going to fit another set of medium tires the schedule uh, strategy would be going with the softest compact tire on the last stint but, it can, but uh, I stopped it too early on the first lap so um, just to be safe I'm going with the, with the medium compact tires as we're leaving the pits and Kimi Raikkonen and just gets a ahead of us and I think he's, he's on the two stop and this is for legit position up the inside we go and that Alfa Romeo has no chance and on the points in P10 so far it is Antonio Giovinazzi so it's been a very good afternoon for the Alfa Romeo's which are uh, trying to get, uh, get their first points of the season if I'm not wrong I think they are yet to score points um, in this season as we're going through the start finish rate on lap um, 23 and we are already up into P9 so we are doing a very very good comeback um, with a lot of moves we've been treating um, the tires it's more or less you can see that in the second stint um, I didn't save that much of tires because I was pushing left right and center as they're getting really really close to Antonio Giovinazzi also I was trying to get a look around inside through the hairpin but there's no point because we're going to have the DRS as we really slow through the final corner that's uh, um, and this is the reason why he was pulling into the pit I managed to slam on the brake and not lose once again a bit of our front wing so we've been the kind of brake check um, twice in this Grand Prix uh, which is not really nice but thankfully we are surviving and on lap 25 on uh, lap 24 I should say we set the fast lap of the Grand Prix so carrying plus one point um, in this Grand Prix and you can see that Lando Norris um, is ahead of uh, Verstappen and Kvyat and in this lap he's going to pull into the pit so he's no longer on the points which is very unfortunate because uh, Lando was in a very good chance to score points so once again it's most likely to see um, our team made um, scoring zero points um, at the end of this comp three and yet to score points in this season which is becoming uh, very frustrating as we're getting really close so very rapidly still in the same lap 27 um, of Daniel Kvyat which is committed to the two stop however he decided to fit the hardest compound of tire which is a very interesting tragical 
from AlphaTauri as we are open the DR race and we have a very good chance to overtake um, Daniel Kvyat and we have some side-by-side -side action and we're going to try to go around the side of Kvyat as he breaks really late so once again we kind of been break check I'm being uh, I'm taking very risky actions uh, very risky moves at the moment in this Grand Prix because I really want to move forward and we have a lot of side-by-side -side action between the Aston Martin um, I don't know um, what uh, um, Aston Martin is and Max Verstappen as now we're going to get a very nice maybe triple slipstream because there's a lot of cars through the start finish straight and you can see that we're gaining gaining and gaining this might not be enough to make it to maybe make a move up into turn one so but he's a free wide between the um Gasly and I think this is uh, uh, Sergio Perez there he is as we sent now one down inside of Daniel Kvyat and it was a free wide move between Verstappen Gasly and Perez and we might get a nice stream of Sergio Perez and here we go and we might maybe make a move on Gasly if we are brave enough on the brakes and there he is run inside we go off the Frenchman this might be a triple overtake in a, in, a, in just a, um, a sector and there he is we are up into P4 after changing our front wing on the first lap as Charles Leclerc is out of the session and we have a safety car to make things even more exciting the safety car the full course yellow has been deployed and we find ourselves in P4 after a banger of a comeback and we are we have the race win which is most likely not to be is Bottas leading the way if things stand like this Bottas is going to be crowned world champion and we just um, two rounds to go but we are in a very good chance to score a podium after what we had um, in the first lap he's going now he has to be the driver of my life for the remaining six laps if I want to get the most epic podium um, of my career in the F1 games in general as we're getting really close to the gearbox up back and but trying to not hit him and getting a drive through penalty as this Grand Prix gets underway once again and we're getting the slipstream of Max Verstappen. We're getting a triple slipstream being followed because of the Mercedes and the Red Bull. And I'm trying and trying to get to get a move on Verstappen and I think I'm not going to be close enough and to get, get uh, brave enough on the break. So we need to sit behind. I did this bot followed by Hamilton Verstappen and then myself getting really close um, to get a podium. And I was trying to get a wider line and get a very nice link shot as the Mercedes, the Silver Arrows are starting to pull away. So sooner or later Verstappen might chop off the DRS but you can see that we just have two laps to go and the opportunities are starting to run out as we're getting through the um, stadium session for the penultimate time and you can see that I'm taking so many lines in order to try to get a line to get a little gap and um, to make a move on Max Verstappen but it seems that it's, I'm sweating a lot at the moment to make the move on the Red Bull as we're going to start the final lap of this Grand Prix and it seems that Verstappen doesn't have DRS in the world actually he has so it's just about has the RS against the Mercedes and here we go we might get the final step of the podium drag race through the start finish rate who's going to be the most brave on the brakes is going to be Verstappen which is going to shoot up the inside but what are we going to do we're going to try to go a little bit deep, then back on the apex and we do that and we take third place of this Grand Prix and remember that we were in last place 35 laps ago this is going to be one of my best podiums of the Grand Prix if I manage to held on Bocci Bottas is going to win the Grand Prix and get crowned world champion Verstappen getting really close to us but he's not going to be enough about us we lost a, front, a bit of our front wing we found ourselves in last place we managed to accomplish this two stop strategy and we get a nice podium what a race yes that's a podium excellent drive the team have worked especially hard this weekend and this is a fantastic reward And so the celebrations begin, and well earned they are indeed. It may have looked simple at times, but as any racing driver will tell you, competing at this level, at the very top, is anything but simple. There's no counting them now then, we have a new World Drivers' Champion. That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position.
And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, Valtteri Bottas is your new world champion. He finally, finally dethroned Lewis Hamilton. Are we going to see that in the real life? Uh, we never know. But anyway, you might be uh, wondering why this race didn't have replays and the TV graphics that you guys always love. And um, it was because of this. When I was going to record the replay, and this happened, and this was the only camera shot that I had. And you can see that it was a free wide moment between me, Hamilton, and Bottas was actually throwing all his hand in frustration, if you can see. Um, a little bit closely and you're going to see just about now that I'm going to move my camera and you're going to see that uh, we had a free wide ball between me and the two silver arrows so you can see that thumbnail is not a, a clickbait you know because it happened however it didn't happen in the race but it happened in the game so but I decided to take this shot and put in the thumbnail because it looks really good me versus the silver arrows which kind of happened in qualifying uh, we managed to throw one of them it was Hamilton but there is confirmation results we were finishing p3 after finding ourselves in last place in our front wing one of my best podiums in my f1 careers um, overall in uh, every single F1 game. Lando Norris, no points, more than the same. It's me carrying the flag in the team. Schalke, the only DNF in this Grand Prix, which provides us a very good podium thanks to that um, safety cap. But what a race it was. A new world champion and the bang of a race with a banger of a comeback and the uh, championship standings. We are finding ourselves in third place with a very comfortable gap over Sergio Perez. So it's been a bang of a season for us and Gasly and Verstappen move forward. You can see the Red Bulls way, way down the other in these seasons. We are very hot um, see, um, season for the Milton Keynes team but uh, uh, for us it's been heavens at least for me and uh, because I'm carrying this team I'm being the man of the season I reckon and Bottas is as well because he managed to um, dethrone his teammate which is one of the best in the business and the constructor stamp thinks um, it is P4 because it's just me carrying the flag because if Norris had the um, similar results like me uh, we would be in second place um, well surely we would be in third place and maybe second place but anyway guys that has been episode 36 of my F1 2020 my team crew make sure to smash like and scratch if you do see plenty more Formula 1 content really motivates me to make more and um, make sure to join family we're going to have an absolute bang of a time season three is coming i i have almost everything ready to get the season underway so make sure to stay tuned for that we have two rounds to go next episode is going to be the brazilian grand prix and then the season finale at abu dhabi so i hope you guys stay tuned for that but that has been me for today my name is Sam, and i'll see you guys for bringing you next time but for now take care